What's up, everybody? It's your boy from Trump City, Trump City, and we're back with more Pokemon Stadium. We're back with episode 19. We're heading for the Great Marvel part of the Prime Cup. We're going to pick our team for the Prime Cup Great Marvel. Here we go. I go with Electabuzz, Pikachu, Kadabra, Magmar, Dugong, and Trio. So where's that trip? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, we got them all. All Richard, let's go battle. First natural need. Dugong. Okay, we're gonna do wrong. Magmar and something else. Not choosing. Okay. Let's do this. And here we are, first battle of the Great Ball round of the Prime Cup. Let's see if we can coast all the way through in one episode. Start to one on the next one. We'll see. And they, they lit up with a Parasect. Against the Dugong's big mistake, because he has a roar been waiting for ya. And here it comes. Phew, right on target, and Parasect is gonna be... Oh, hang on. Excuse me, I thought it was gonna be out in one hit. Flash attack. That'll knock it down to oh, almost 100 HP. But he isn't hanging in there. Actually, a little over 100. Another room will do the job. No, no, it's usually a spiritual, a spirited as usual. A little ticked off over WWE Roadblock as Parasect gets knocked out. You WWE wrestling fans out there, the Ambers actually got screwed out of the WWE Championship by the stupid referee, so that's why my tone isn't as cheerful as it normally would be. As they send in a Metapod. Just wanted to provide an explanation as to why I'm not as usually as cheerful as I would be at your stadium. And I don't care if it's slightly irrelevant to the video, I'm explaining why I'm not so cheerful as Stubong blasts that metal power with another aura beam. And all it can do is harden to ruin this defense, but that's not going to do it much good, because Dugong can just come back with another one. This match won't take very long at all. As you can see, it's knocked down instantly. Let's check the time on this. And it began 11.17, just three minutes in. And let's see if we can finish it off. Cocoon, another bug type. Easily brutal. Won't be a one-hit KO, but it'll be a perfect match to me. And it'll be a free continue. Sure, it slows it down with String Shot, which actually slows the Pokemon speed. That's all I can do. And one more of Rubber won't do the trick. Kakuna will be finished in 3, 2, 1. And this match is over. Let's see who we need for round two. Okay, for round two we'll need... Why not? Round two we need Kadabra. Pikachu. And any, anyone else we pick. Against the rocket type, alright. Mostly always bring it to party, it's poison types. 
That should be easy to handle. I'll throw in, uh, shit, who do I want to throw in? I'll throw in Magmar, just in case. And we're in round two of the Greek Ball Cup. Early battle, so nothing really heavily at stake here. No real pressure to win. I mean, we can easily win, but there's no massive pressure as he throws in a psychic type of his own. I just does a tip now. Psychic attack! Not very effective, but a critical hit. Knocked over, not over 100 of its HP. Uh oh, disable. That's not good. But it didn't work. Okay, since psychic on psychic attack ain't working, let's try a dig attack. That cadaver will burrow underground. Shine confusion, but I don't miss because the cadaver's underground. Ah, smart move, switching on Hypno for something else. Unfortunately, it picked the wrong one in bringing in that sand shrew. Because it'll just run right into a psychic attack and probably get knocked out. Let's see. Go, Cadabra! Psychic attack! Huh? Another Pokemon switch? Didn't see that coming. It's like he's anticipating my every move here. He's anticipating that I'm gonna go with a psychic attack, so he switches back to Hypno. <laughs> Not very effective, but it did weaken him. Alright, Cadabra, dig time! Dig underground and avoid harm. Normally a headbutt would be a pretty powerful normal move, but with no target there, wow, well, you get the picture. And now he's sick six in for dig, and he takes it right to the face with only 52 damage. Hmm, this is proving to be a tougher opponent than I thought it would. This is a good, nice knock, knock on dragon fight to begin round two. But it's not exactly what I had in mind. I was hoping I could coast through this and get to the later fights quicker. If I can get through this episode a little faster and show you guys maybe the Ultra Ball round. May have to extend this one a little longer, but we'll see. Hmm, that Hypno just won't go down. Oh, Cadaver's confused. Better switch him out. Alright, Magmar, you're on. Don't make a fool out of me now. Magmar! <laughs> oh shit, it's going for hypnosis! And it knocked Magmar out cold! That's not good. Alright, uh, Pikachu, you're on. <laughs> so Magmar didn't get a chance to fight. As he's immediately put to sleep. Alright, Pikachu, you're on, bud. It used Disable, but considering Pikachu hasn't had a move yet, well, it doesn't work. Alright, Pikachu, Thunderbolt that Hypno. Finish it off. And as the announcer would say, it's finally taken down! So the Hypno is finally beaten. That will of course bring in the Sand Shrew. Oh, oh, excuse me. Not wrong again. Looks like an interim female. That means it's time for Cabra. We both have had to do a lot of switching in this match. At the price you pay if you want to remain perfect. <laughs> okay, that didn't work very well. Psychic attack! Super effective. And it takes it down in one hit! At least just a sand shirt. We'll advance on to the next round. Alright, 
Alright, Sandshrew, prepare to meet your maker with this psychic attack! Could this be it? Out of there! Round two belongs to us! In perfect fashion. Alright, what's next? Go the ultra wrong page yet. Just a minute. Okay, we want Cadabra, Dark Trio, and anything else we choose. We want Dark Trio, Cadabra, and maybe, just maybe, uh, Dugong. I'll throw in Dugong just to be safe. We'll do that though. Better. Save here, just save, just be safe. In case something happens to the computer and I lose my place. We wanted Kadabra, Dick Trio, and Dugong. We're into round three. Still the early first early rounds here. Nothing really to fear though. At the massive disadvantage for the Judo Boy, as well Psychic loves facing fighting Pokemon. And apparently he knows that and he's switching it on immediately. Sharp boy. Switching it out for Raichu, huh? Fine, I got a way to deal with him too. After the psychic blast, of course. That nearly took out Raichu in one go. Alright, Kadabra. Dig this! <laughs> Get it? Dig this, because he's in a dig attack. <laughs> Good thing I had Kadabra underground. Should take out right you. And it does. And he's down. What's next? Voltor. Now the electric type, meaning another dig should take care of it. Time for more. Oops, I used the wrong attack. My bad. I used the wrong freaking attack. <clears throat> Good thing Kadabra has a strong defensive stat. Alright, now. Time to dig. Now reflect. Dig. There we go. I'll take out Goldsborg, leaving us one more fight closer to round four. Super effective. Or maybe not. It won't take it out yet. Alright, Kadabra. Took the Thunderbolt with no problem. Finish it off with another dig attack! You can't thunderbolt what's already in the ground, Voltorb. And it's out of there! As you can see, we're breathing through the first three rounds, and they're one step away from round four. In the end of the first half of, this, of the Great Ball Cup. And it's hit my Lee again. Making it easy for me to finish this off. Psychic attack! Finish this match! And he's gonna be out of there in 3, 2, 1. He's out of there in one hit! 
And there goes the battle! Alright, let's check for round four. Cabra. Let's see, Cabra, Dugong, and something else. Sheesh, Cadabra's being a regular all-star in this match. Goodness. Cadabra's being a regular all-star in this half of the Prime Cup. For goodness sake, I've had to use him in every single one of my first ba first four battles, for God's sakes. Can some of our others get some spotlight, please? <laughs> into the first half of the Great Ball Prime Cup. Who will then to the second half of it? Let's find out. Hmm. A Kingler, eh? Let's start with Dick. See what that does. Dear Dick, I could have switched in Electabuzz, but I don't believe in first turn twitching. It just leaves them open to an attack. Good, but it's still hanging in there by quite a bit. <clears throat> ah, good job, Kaba, hang in there. All right, let's try a psychic attack. Psychic blast! Away! Oh, switching Pokemon. Okay, let's see what your second creature is, shall we? And it's a king, and it's a seeking. And the water type, huh? Good thing I have Electabuzz. I think one more psychic could actually finish that off if that did all that damage. Let's see if my theory is correct. And it is! And seeking stun just two psychic attacks. Who's next? That's a rock and ground type. No problem. Psychic attack should be able to manipulate that stone into rubble. Go! Psychic blast! It's down in one hit! How about that power? Now we gotta finish it off with, finish off the Kingler. And get ready for round five. I'm gonna check ahead. See what we we'll need for round five? It looks like, by all intents and purposes, we'll be heading there. Unless they fall off a miraculous comeback, which I don't see happening. And it's not gonna happen. Critical hit. It is over! Round five, here we come. Magmar, Lectabuzz, and Pikachu. Round six, if we get that far, it's Magmar, Pikachu, and anyone else. Alright, let's focus on round five before we get to round six. Don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. At least for one second, you could have a rest. Magmar will be alert off, man. It's round five, the beginning of the second half of the Great Ball Prime Cup. Alright, starts with a water type, fine. Switch up to one of our two electric types, you know, like the buzz. That's fine, we've got, we've got plans. Good thing I switched up, got a deadly water gun ready for, elect for Magmar. Electabuzz shook that off like it's like bitch, is that all you got? Electabuzz, Thunder Punch! Electrify that Seedra out of the battle. Super effective. 
One more ought to do it. Ooh, critical hit. Alright, like the one's hanging on. Powerful strikes from both sides, and the word go. Alright, like the buzz thunder punch should take it out. And it does. Let's see what he brings in next. We need a backup Pokemon of our own. We will. It's the uh, also always annoying gloom with that cry. That cry always annoyed me as a kid, and it still annoys me now. It's like, ah, ah. why don't they just give it the gloom, gloom cry from the anime? That was much more pleasant. Uh oh, it's using pedal dance. Not very effective on Magmar though. Magmar, fire punch. Burn the seeds off this grass type. Super effective. And now it's thrashing about due to pedal dance. It gradually gets stronger and eventually makes the user confused, but with a fire type out there, it ain't gonna do much damage. Magmar! Fire punch it! Wipe it out of its misery! Or wipe it off the face of this battle or something. <laughs> Gloom is out. Who's next? I think we might be able to cover the entire tournament round if I go with a 30 minute episode. Alright, it's the gold duck. I think we can maybe be able to take it out with a psychic, but I'm going to use Confuser just to see if I can't confuse it and make it hit itself a few times. It's confused! Okay, but when it does work, super effective. I want to get Magmar out of there. Bring in Pikachu. It's fresh. Great job, Magmar. Now it's Pikachu's turn. Pikachu! Remember, Bulldog's still confused, and it whacks itself. Thank you, Confused Ray. Thunderbolt attack! Wipe him out, and it sends us to round six. Hmm, alright. That gold duck's stronger than it looks. Still, one more Thunderbolt should finish the job. Super effective! And gold duck is down. <coughs> Getting us ready for round six. Pikachu, Magmar, and someone else. Let me recheck what the opponent's Pokemon will be for that round, just to see, just to confirm what I'm going to use. Just a minute. Just got to see what I want to use for that round. Just a second. Why well, check that out? Okay, we want Magmar, Pikachu, and probably Electabuzz with all these flying types. Let's try that. Lead off with Magmar. Pikachu and Electabuzz, and here we go, round six. No one wants to lose being this close to the semifinals and a chance for the Ultra Ball part of the tournament. And they need it for the Fero. Perfect. Because I can I want a I want a roasted Fero and I like it extra crispy. Fire punch! <laughs> Punch. I want that zero extra crispy and I want it now. <laughs> Damn, that zero is resilient. Ooh, ooh, jeez. 
Okay. Probably gonna need to get Magma out of there. Fortunately, I can kinda get that hero extra crispy like I'm calling for. And get him to safety. Alright, let's go with a, uh... Second. Even if we don't, even if we're not perfect with this round, it doesn't matter if it builds up enough containers. Super effective. Okay, so... Add will hit, probably. And does, so... Magmar is locked out. But we prevent, we've, um... Built up enough containers, we probably didn't need a perfect go around. So, Pikachu, you're up. Alright, little dude, let's see what you can do. Thunderbolt. Pikachu kind of dwarfs it or haunts I mean, look at him. Or actually, haunts or dwarfs over Pikachu. Choosing Nightshade, that's fine. Nightshade is one of those moves that can only take 50 to 100 points per attack. So Pikachu can easily survive it. And now, go for the Thunderbolt, Pikachu! Wipe him out! And the final opponent is a Beedrill. Alright, Pikachu. Thunderbolt! Critical win! And Beedrill was down in one go! And we are heading to the semi-finals! for the semi-finals, but that showcase will be next episode, guys. Till next time, this is your boy, Jumps the Gamer, CCG signing up for now. Remember, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, like a Mike Tyson knockout punch. Till next time, see ya for episode 20 of Pokemon Stadium. Till then, peace out, everybody. Love you all.